Hey there, I'm Richard Brandt, Monos Historian, and you're watching Stream It Now. Crackle has added 56 more free movies today, including lots of Academy Award winners, as well as some controversial hits. Now, as you may recall, Crackle added more than 320 movies last month and only got rid of 33, which means, well, it means Crackle has a boatload of free movies for you to watch now. That's what it means. New arrivals today include Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, Jim Belushi, and Emily Perkins in About Last Night. Jim Carrey returning in Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. William Baldwin in Art Heist. The triple feature of Brooke Shields in The Blue Lagoon, Martin Lawrence in Blue Streak, and Roy Scheider in Blue Thunder. Jane Fonda, Jack Lemmon, and Michael Douglas in The China Syndrome. John Carpenter directs Stephen King's Christine. Will Smith takes on the NFL in Concussion. Everyone's favorite Amy Adams movie, Cruel Intentions 2. Christian Slater and Selma Blair in The Deal. Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek in Robert Rodriguez's Desperado. Rob Schneider returns as Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. William Peter Blatty's The Exorcist 3. Brad Pitt and Edward Norton are sort of in Fight Club from David Fincher. Kirk Cameron is fireproof. Ice Cube and Cat Williams in First Sunday. Robin Williams, Jeff Bridges, and Oscar-winning Mercedes Ruel in The Fisher King. Roddy McDowell in the original Fright Night. Barbara Streisand in a Fanny Bryce double feature of Funny Girl and Funny Lady. Ben Kingsley in the Best Picture Oscar winner Gandhi. Winona Ryder and Oscar winning Angelina Jolie in Girl Interrupted. The faith-based drama Heaven is for Real. The late John Singleton's Higher Learning. Cuba Gooding Jr. in The Hit List. And in case you should forget, Cuba's Oscar winning performance in Jerry Maguire. The dream team of Rob Schneider and Jean-Claude Van Damme in Knock Off. Patrick Dempsey in Maid of Honor, the YA fantasy, The Mortal Instruments, the Anna Chlumsky double feature of My Girl and My Girl 2, Scarlett Johansson and Natalie Portman in The Other Boleyn Girl, Kathleen Turner and Peggy Sue Got Married, Meryl Streep and Shirley MacLaine in Mike Nichols' film of Carrie Fisher's Postcards from the Edge. Meryl Streep again in Ricky and the Flash. Joseph Fiennes in Risen. Steve Martin in Roxanne. Sean Astin in the most inspirational football movie ever, Rudy. Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder in See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Goldie Hawn and Chevy Chase in Seems Like Old Times. Kate Winslet and Alan Rickman in Emma Thompson's Oscar-winning Sense and Sensibility. Warren Beatty, Julie Christie, young and slutty Carrie Fisher, and Oscar-winning Lee Grant in Shampoo. More Rob Lowe in St. Elmo's Fire. Oh, look, they made a remake of The Stepfather. Who asked you? Anyway, it's got Amber Heard in it, so... More Pryor and Wilder in Stir Crazy, the sequel, Stuart Little 2. Jennifer Love Hewitt tries to revive a faded boy band in the suburbans. The long-awaited sequel, T2, Train Spotting. Nick Stahl in the horror thriller, Taboo. Adam Sandler and Addie Samberg in That's My Boy. Robert Redford. Barbara Streisand and Oscar-winning music in The Way We Were. Joaquin Phoenix and Mark Wahlberg in We Own the Night. Mikhail Baryshnikov, Gregory Hines, Isabella Rossellini, and Helen Mirren in White Night. And Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg, and Abigail Breslin in Zombieland. If you had had to guess which one of those would be the first to win their Oscar, who would you have picked?